Scientists' shocking new discovery on Proxima b changes everything. Proxima Centauri b, also referred to as Proxima b, is an exoplanet orbiting in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. Note the naming criteria for both the star and its planet. Proxima Centauri is the closest star to the Sun and part of a complex triple star system called Alpha Centauri. The discovery of this star system was announced on August 24, 2016 by the European Southern Observatory. The planet in question, which orbits the star Proxima Centauri and is tritely named Proxima b, is only 4.2 light-years from Earth, making it the closest known exoplanet to our solar system. So what have scientists at large observed about this planet or its host star? Stay till the end to find out. Proxima Centauri b orbits its parent star in approximately 11.2 Earth days. This orbit is also within the habitable zone of its star, so its potential for sustaining life cannot be ignored, although scientists have speculated that Proxima b might not have an atmosphere because it is too close to its star, and Proxima Centauri, the parent star it is named after, is categorized as a flare star. This means it constantly emits solar flares, even much more than we experience with the Earth's Sun. And because Proxima b is too close to it, this raises a few questions about how habitable Proxima b is in the first place. The star emits so much electromagnetic radiation that it has likely stripped Proxima b of its atmosphere. Certainly, there's no way of knowing what is happening on the planet's surface, only a robotic mission can help with the answers. One such probe has been tagged the Breakthrough Starshot Project, which is supposed to help us understand Proxima b and Proxima Centauri a lot better, less the impracticability of sending a human crew mission. However, such a mission is still centuries away from being properly articulated because with the technology we have at present, it will take 75,000 years to get close enough to the Alpha Centauri system, which is also a binary star system. With Proxima Centauri, we're dealing with a red dwarf star that is way smaller and colder than Earth's Sun. An important point to note is that Proxima Centauri is part of a group of three stars that seem to share the same gravitational pull on each other. However, this point cannot be readily proven because of the time it would take to observe it. But these three stars, which include Proxima Centauri, are close enough to each other for scientists to make an educated guess in this regard. Hence, the binary nature of the Alpha Centauri system of which Proxima Centauri is a part. As mentioned earlier, Proxima Centauri b is located within the classical habitable zone of its star. It is also exposed to about 65% of Earth's irradiation, which in real terms is a lot. That being said, can an atmosphere be sustained under such conditions and why not? Scientists have isolated two likely scenarios for a workable atmosphere on Proxima b. In the first scenario, the planet's air would be comprised mostly of oxygen and the hydrogen would have been lost to space. In the second scenario, there would be residual hydrogen that suggests water is trapped within somehow. This same atmosphere would have oxygen-bearing gases. As such, aurora phenomena might be observed from observatories on Earth. But how stable would such an atmosphere be? The only benchmark scientists have so far is Earth's atmosphere. How would things play out if Earth was placed in Proxima B's shoes? First off, the irradiation from Proxima Centauri might pose a challenge to habitability. Proxima b gets as much as 10 to 60 times the radiation gotten from our sun. It is known that such levels of UV radiation can evaporate an atmosphere, and the ripple effects will be such that hydrogen is broken down and escapes the gravitational pull of the planet in question and we know that hydrogen is a basic building block of any ecosystem. So no hydrogen translates to no workable atmosphere. Mind you, 
All of this is mere conjecture because scientists are only working out of their calculations remotely. In fact, Proxima b has really only been observed indirectly while studying its host star. So don't expect any actual live images of the exoplanet. Earth has a magnetic field that protects its atmosphere from solar flare radiation. But the same cannot be said of Proxima b. Furthermore, Earth is situated far enough from the Sun to the extent that the impact on Earth is minimal when solar flares happen. Proxima b is indeed within the habitable zone of its star, but it is also too close to it. In other words, there is a balance between how bright a host star is and, therefore, how close a planet can be to it in order to meet the criteria for habitability. And so, in this case, habitability doesn't necessarily mean that life can thrive on the planet. It simply means Proxima b is close enough to its star and no more to fit the definition. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf planet, so it is not as hot as our sun, but nonetheless, it is still strong enough. In actual terms, habitability comes down to two things, the presence of water and, by extension, an atmosphere. And since Proxima b is that close to its host sun, the likelihood of having a proper atmosphere is slim to none. The oxygen and carbon dioxide may build up to toxic levels, and the ozone, if any, will be depleted to the point of letting in dangerous radiation levels. In theory, microbial life could dare to survive if there are oceans on Proxima b. Oceans are most conducive for complex life forms to develop irrespective of the mercurial nature of the environment. And if the planet is not tidally locked and allows for day and night rhythms, this could further trigger reactions that benefit the development or slow evolution of life. And so such conditions could stimulate the organisms that constitute the building blocks for life. Red dwarf planets like Proxima Centauri have a longer lifespan than stars like ours. They even predate the universe in some estimates. This gives planets revolving around them ample time to develop painstakingly. Our sun has given us the type of radiation that supports photosynthesis based on oxygenation. However, Proxima Centauri will not be able to work that way towards Proxima b for obvious reasons. For instance, there are no oxygen-bearing gases because of a volatile atmosphere. Otherwise, Proxima Centauri can only produce plant life based on what is called anoxygenic photosynthesis. In this mode of photosynthesis, hydrogen sulfide is used instead of water, and sulfur is the byproduct in place of oxygen. As mentioned earlier, Proxima b has not yet been directly observed at this time of reporting. It was, in fact, discovered by a planet observation method known as Doppler Wobble, this applies when a planet crosses its host star's path and triggers anomalies in the readings in such a way as to suggest there is a planet orbiting it. Proxima b essentially amounts to an educated guess, and a solid one at that, given all the calculations which have checked out so far. Considering Proxima b's closeness to Earth, future large ground-based telescopes and space-based observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope could directly observe it, and thus throw more light on its properties. But for now, separating or isolating the planet from the effects and properties of its star would be difficult. Nevertheless, that it's not stopped the scientists from observing and remotely determining its properties. And such is the beauty of planetary physics, where theories can be deduced from literally nothing. At best, a spacecraft would take a long time to get to the Proxima system. Perhaps a probe-like solar sail can be sent across at high speeds. Even then, the near impossible challenge of controlling its deceleration once it reaches the star system is self-evident. And even before that, it stands the risk of colliding with interstellar particles on the way and getting destroyed. So a trip to the Proxima B system is far-fetched for the foreseeable future. For instance, the Breakthrough Starshot project is slated at some point in the 21st century when scientific instruments and power systems would have been developed well enough to sustain such a mission. 
The search for exoplanets out there in space can sustain life in a complex endeavor. For instance, Proxima b was found accidentally when scientists watching the Proxima star system observed an anomaly that could only have been a planet orbiting around it. So when scientists observe the sky, they never know what they might find. This in turn narrows down the possibility of finding the perfect candidate for a planet that scores 99% on the habitability scale. And even when humankind does, we don't yet have all the technology in place to explore far-flung exoplanets or galaxies. But we must continue to feed our curiosity, and maybe that's all there is to it. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so that you don't miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care, and do tell us your views in the comment section.